Hi George, it's Marcus. How are you? I was talking about your uh I was talking about your big uh theory on diplomatic containers. Look where I am, I'm under the Varazano Bridge. Wow, big old bridge. Staten Island over there, this is the the the, the Varazano Narrows. This is the opening of the New York Harbor. All ships have to come through this way. Do you know that? You want to get to the New York Harbor? You want to get to uh, Port of Newark? Got to come in this way. So what am I talking about? You heard your theory on diplomatic containers is fake? Ah, Vinny Tugboat. Oh, 30 year Vinny Tugboat. Is his credentials solid? Bet your ass they are. That guy, I know that guy, 30 years. Ah, oh, there's more to that story. So what is that? That's a fishing boat under the bridge. What does that have to do with a, with a cargo ship? Well, what's that? Oh, fucking cargo ship. Actually, three of them. Two of them. The one in the middle is a barge. And just like Vinny told us, the cargo ships, hundreds of containers. But they're just sitting there. Why are they sitting there? Because they're waiting for permission to get in the harbor. They haven't, they haven't gotten their permission yet. They're waiting for a tow. They're waiting for a pilot. Who knows? But they're waiting. Now, you remember Vinny said that it's 19 out of 20 times if they tried something funny like like shipping drugs on that ship they would get caught remember when he said that and he said the idea of guns and and radioactive material on a boat like that is is impossible it's an impossibility that a bomb or radioactive material could come in right, but what he did say is that you could chuck caravan off the boat 20 miles 25 miles out right and that's why the fishing boat is important because they're all over the place right that is a possibility but your idea of a rat line using commercial ships remember when you shut down the port of Charleston oh it's a dirty bomb there's a dirty bomb! Remember that? It's an impossibility. And I know, I know, you guys are fucking smart. Oh, Judge Webb, the powerful Judge Webb, does all his homework, investigation. Ah, oh, he's so fucking smart. You got a guy, 30 years, just told you it's a fake. That, that the story is inaccurate. Now what are you going to do about it? What? are you going to do about it George your story your theory the whole premise the whole premise of a diplomatic container <laughs> this is fucking fake the whole shit the whole story is a, is a farce right diplomatic envelope yeah Airport, yeah, but you said four cargo, four containers. You said that. You told everybody that. And for a year, you've been piling on a bullshit story. Guns going one way. You enriched uranium, yellow cake. <laughs> Come on, man, get off of it. Get off of it. You dig. You're, you're barking up the way to the fucking wrong tree, man. You're barking up the wrong tree. Woof. I know. It was a good story. I mean, I thought fucking... God damn, man. That shit was funny. That was believable. George is so believable, man. You're a good actor. You're an actor. You're a good actor. But this is real life. 
Those are real people that work those tugboats and are on those ships. And that, that's, that's trade going on right there. And you're propaganding this bullshit, bullshit about uranium and guns and weapons traveling on cargo ships. Now, is it the military? You want to change your tune? Is it now you're going to change? Say, oh, yeah, if any tugboat said they're throwing fucking throwing shit off the side of the boat, you've got to go in that direction. <laughs> right? Stay in the truth, Mr. Clickbait. Mr. Jo- Alcohol George. Stay in the truth, right? You got you surrounded by your Surrounded by your four whores, your hit, hit, hit whores, all using ten different screen names. Oh, you think you're fucking slick, right? Hey, George, remember? You're gonna love this. Right? Remember when I came to? You remember when I came to uh, DC? I was interviewing you. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Let's go. What was I doing there? What the fuck is this Conti guy is looking? A jerk off, right? It's fucking long hair, Wayne's World, right? Buck tooth, cousin fucker. That, who is this guy? He doesn't know what he's doing. Ah, but maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe, just maybe. Jen Moore. What was I doing there? Remember that? What kind of questions did I ask? Well... I asked about the diplomatic container. Fake. Asked about Imran Awan. Remember Imran Awan? I interviewed Imran Awan. Remember Imran Awan? Fucking big spy ring guy, right? Remember that shit? Now he's the yellow cake guy, right? That's what you're saying now that Imran Awan, because you couldn't pin him on as, as a spy ring, right? Which he probably was, but again, protected individuals. You're not going to touch those guys, right? Right now he's 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 transporting yellow cake, <laughs> shipping yellow cake to a diplomatic immunity. Right, you remember? But you remember? But the real question I asked you, you remember about Jen Moore? Did you do it? Did you know about it? Ah, oh, you missed that. You missed it because you think. You're too busy paying attention to the shit show. Ah. That Prince. DNA. Why am I sitting next to him? Hmm. Well, when I handed you that soda, to George. Hey, George, hold this. Ah, fuck. Jen Moore. See, that's why you have my attention. That is why you have my attention. 